Hi, I'm Sarah Marriage, and today I'll be showing you a technique for gluing up timbre doors, which is featured in issue 112 of Woodcraft Magazine. The first step to gluing up a timbre door is to build a jig. Once you know the size of the door that you're planning to make, we're going to grab a piece of plywood and attach two perpendicular fences. I've attached one fence here and I will go ahead Make sure this is square here. Once I've got one screw in, I'm gonna double check. Make sure that's nice and square before I lock that in. Once we've got the first two fences attached, we'll bring our timbre slats over. I've got them held together with some tape on the back right now. Just helps in transporting them in one piece. We're gonna put our slats show face down. And before we glue up, we wanna make sure that there is finish on those show faces and in between the slats. And then I'm going to just register these slats up against both fences. Now, just with hand tightening, I'm gonna pull these taut or together like that. And then I'm gonna attach a third fence on this side. Ultimately, what this jig does is it allows us to glue the canvas backing onto the slats. And so when we're adding the glue, we wanna make sure that there aren't any gaps in between our slats. So I'm gonna actually leave a little bit of a gap for this third fence so that once it's attached, I can use wedges to make sure those are nice and tight against each other. Just screw that guy in. The next step is to secure the slats in the jig. We'll make sure that they are still registered against the first two square fences. And then we're gonna take a couple long wedges and slide those into the gap that we've left at our third fence. What these wedges do is help reduce any gaps in between our slats so that when we add glue in a minute, we won't get squeezed out in between the slats. Once you've got your slats secure in the jig with the wedges in place, we're going to glue on the canvas. But before we add any glue, we wanna tape off these ends because we don't want any glue to get on there. That's gonna be running in the track. So. And now it's time to apply the glue. I'm using tight bond liquid hide glue uh, because it is repairable and it's also nice and flexible, which you want in a timbre door. Now, I only want this to be a thin layer, partly because we don't want too much squeeze out in between our slats. We'll still get a little squeeze out likely even with the wedges added but also we want it nice and thin because we don't want to get too much bleed through the canvas. You want a nice even layer, no dry spots. Okay, once you've got that nice even layer of hide glue on the back of your slats, we're going to place the canvas on. Now I've cut this canvas oversized in all directions. So I'm going to make sure it's overhanging the tape on both sides. And once the glue is set, we'll trim that back. If you have another roller, you can put some pressure on with a roller. I just like to use my hands. Try to get a little bit of contact pressure everywhere. And then we clamp it up with some simple gravity clamps. Piece of MDF, cut to size, 
and a pile of books. After about 20 to 30 minutes, we're gonna take those books off, take the wedges out, and very gently take your new door assembly out of the jig. We're gonna flip it over and very carefully start to crack open each slat. Check for glue squeeze out. If there's any glue squeeze out, carefully scrape it out, clean it out. If you don't have any glue squeeze out, good job. Once you've checked everything, carefully put it back into the jig. Put those wedges back in. Put the MDF and the books back on and wait two hours for the glue to finish setting. After those two hours are up, we're going to take the door out of the jig again, trim the canvas back at the top and bottom, and then cut these tenons at the table saw. For more information on how to actually do that part and all the rest of the timbre door process, check out Larissa Huff's article, Timbre Technique, in issue 112 of Woodcraft Magazine.